I ain't folding under pressure, I ain't switching for no hoe. I ain't talking to no cop and I ain't telling all my bros. Ain't no killer, but don't push me fingers itching on that pole. Niggas gotta love go. Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Wow, get the fuck though. I don't bluff, bro. Aiming at your head, that's enough jokes. Then the sun died, the night is young though. The diamond still shine, in a rough hoe. But the f What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex, and I'm back here with another video. And today we're gonna get into the preview for the Bears versus the Dolphins. A must-win game, not a must-win. No, we're gonna say this every week. Oh, this was a must-win. I mean, every game is a must-win <laughs> when you're Dolphins, when you're Dolphins fan, because you know when them tiebreakers start getting involved and shit at the end of the season, we don't never got them. So you know what I'm saying? This is a must-win. Okay, every game is a must-win. Now I'm just gonna show y'all something. Um, I got the injury report, y'all. I mean, I mean, I know injuries are part of football, but God. Dang. This is ridiculous. I, I, I can't even see the names right now. They're so blurry and everything. But the names are not important. Look at the list, okay? <sighs> Ain't no excuses in the NFL. Gotta get the job done. Now, a couple things. Uh, Laramie Tunsil did practice this week, so that's good. He should be coming back. Sam Young, thank God he's not starting because if Sam Young was starting, we might as well. I, I don't know if I was going to watch the game. Now, I was going to watch the game, but I was going I was going to have to. I don't even drink, but I was going to have to buy uh, four local or something because ain't no way I was going to watch that game with a clear mind because um, it, it was going to get ugly. It, it, it was just going to get ugly because Khalil Mack, I mean, you, nobody can block him anyway, let alone Sam Young, okay? He's going to need... Larry Tunsil's gonna need help himself, but if it was Sam Young, it would just get, it would just be way worse. And I know Khalil Max on the other side, so he'd be going up against Jawan James. But if they saw a weakness, like with our left tackle, if they saw him uh, as Sam Young starting, and they see what happened last week, they would be moving Khalil Mack around, okay? Because I think they did that against the Arizona Cardinals, right? They would just move him around, and it would get ugly. And that's 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 Ryan Tannehill's left side, blind side, Khalil Mack, Sam Young. Can Drake help it? Can Drake is good at uh, it. was gonna get ugly. Okay, thank God Lambert Thompson's back. It still might get ugly, but <laughs> at least it's gonna get ugly with my god. I don't, I don't know. A lot of people are ruling out the, uh, the offense in this game, and pretty much the I don't even, you know, this this don't even have to be a long video. I can just tell y'all straight up what needs to happen. Ryan Tannehill and Adam Gage do something, man. Y'all gotta Bruh. do something. Y'all got to make something shake. Y'all got to do something, okay? That, it, it come down to that. Our, our defense is going to stop him. I know that, okay? You look at Mr. Trubisky. He, the verdict is out on Mr. Trubisky. I don't want to be disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Bears fans haven't been disrespectful to me. So I'm going to be disrespectful and say, what I, you know, Mr. Trubisky's garbage. I'm going to say the verdict is still out on Mr. Trubisky, okay? I think our defense would do just fine in stopping Mr. Trubisky, okay? Especially on the road this season. If you look, the Bears have played four games, two, two at home, two on the road. He hasn't thrown a touchdown on the road yet. His percentages are down on the road. If you look at his road stats versus home stats, his percentages are down. I mean, it, he's on the road this week versus a tough defense. I don't think I, – I, I just don't see – I just don't see Mr. Trubisky killing us, okay? Our defense leads the league in interceptions. I think we'll be able to stop Mr. Trubisky. All right? At first, we got to stop Jordan Howard and Tariq Cohen, though, first. If we can stop them, then we'll be able to stop Mitch, and it's not going to be no shootout, okay, in Miami. It's not, it's not going to be like that. So, all our offense has to do, all right, I'm just giving this one task, this one objective, this one mission to complete. Score three touchdowns. Score, score 21 points. Score 21 points, we win this game. Okay? Simple as that. I don't see the Bears scoring more than 21. I don't see Mr. Trubisky dropping more than 21 on our head. Score 21 points, and we win this game. All right? With our defense, we win this game. Score 21, and don't throw no pick six. Don't, don't, don't throw no pick sixes. All right? Don't fumble six. Don't turn the ball over inside the 20. Our, our 20, you know? And we win this game. It's 21. And just don't fuck. Just score 21 and get the out the way, okay. Don't score 21 and just run the ball, punt the ball. Don't even don't don't, don't throw no pick sixes. All right, just score 21 and get the out the way. Let the defense let the defense win us the game. All right. 21 points honestly is not asking much for. Uh, and I'm not calling them an offensive guru no more. I'm doing air quotes every time I say that because, I, quite frankly, um, I don't believe he is one. And now I ain't gonna lie, it is the first five weeks of the season, okay. And even last time Tanner Hill was our starting quarterback, we went like what one and four in the first five weeks. So could change real quick and he could start looking like an offensive guru that you know we want him to be but I i'm not calling him an offensive guru without qu without quotes because it, it just i don't even have to explain it he's been watching the game <laughs> him and ryan Tannehill gonna have to um 
find something clicking, you know what I'm saying? I gave Ryan Tannehill his credit. Y'all know I'm not a Tannehill hater. I gave him his credit after week three, okay? We were 3-0, no, Ryan Tannehill was playing great. I was playing pretty good. I gave Ryan Tannehill his credit. And I got hate for that. Oh, you know, Ryan Tannehill still sucks. I took the lumps. I said, you know what? I'm not ever going to give a guy blame and not give him credit. But now, shit going south. Shit going south. And people like, um, oh, you changed on Ryan Tannehill. Oh, you're bipolar. Oh, didn't you just like Ryan Tannehill? Yes. Yes, when he was playing good. Now he's playing like shit. I, I, I'm allowed to see. I don't put position. I don't pick positions. That's the difference between me and a lot of people in the comments or a lot of Dolphins fans. Period. Is that they argue for Ryan Tannehill so much that they 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 are stuck with that position. If Ryan Tannehill has a bad game, they can't say it because they don't want to be wrong. Humans don't want to be wrong. See, I don't. I, I never took no position. I want Ryan Tannehill to do good, but if he does bad, I'm gonna admit it. Okay. In the same way, vice versa. So many people have shit about Ryan Tannehill for so many years. That when he does good, they can't even admit that. I don't. I don't know why fans are like that. But me personally, I'm not like neither one of them. If he does good, he's, I'm gonna tell you he's playing good. I'm gonna congratulate him. I'm going up him. If he's playing bad, I'm gonna let it be known that he's playing bad. I'm a fan of the Miami Dolphins. I'm a diehard fan of the Miami Dolphins. I'm just a fan of the players, okay? Which means I like these players as long as they're benefiting the Miami Dolphins. I'm gonna be honest. Now, Cameron Wake, I like anyway, because he showed loyalty, respect. He was down He was down with us since day one. And this is off topic. I'm just giving y'all some details. Listen, Cameron Wake is different. He showed loyalty. Jarvis Landry, even I love Jarvis Landry uh, because he showed the heart. I, I, some players that show a lot of heart, a lot of fight, a lot of passion, I love them, okay? But I still won't put them above the team, okay? Never. All right, y'all don't see me out here making Jarvis Landry videos. I love Jarvis Landry. We left the Dolphins. We went to the Dolphins. I mean, I, I stuck with the Dolphins. I'm not a Browns fan, you know? I'm basically saying I'm a fan of these players, but once they stop benefiting the Dolphins or if they end up off the Dolphins, I, 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 I don't care no more. Like, if you look at, you know, Brandon Marshall. I was a Brandon Marshall fan when he was with the Dolphins. Do y'all check on Brandon Marshall? Was y'all checking on Vontae Davis? Like, people act like, oh, y'all you, you, really love these players, but if y'all really love these players, y'all would love them when they left. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a Dolphins fan every year. <laughs> if Listen, if King Drake get traded tomorrow... I'm not gonna check for King Drake. I don't check for Jay Ajayi, you know? So, that, that just, that, I'm just giving y'all my opinion. I, I love these players when they're on the Dolphins. You know what I'm saying? I respect them, putting their body on the line and everything. But I'm just giving y'all, like, a, a, this thing of, you know, I don't play these, uh, these old, my favorite player games, or old, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm a Tanny Hill fan. I don't do that. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm a fan of them, you get it? But I'm not a Dolphins fan. And I, I'm gonna admit they do bad. Simple as that. But anyways, getting back into the uh, recap, I, I, I just went on a long rant and I didn't even notice. But hey, let's get back into the recap. Listen, Khalil Mack, he gonna be good for a strip sack. We know what's happening, okay? Bruh. With our leaky O line, Khalil Mack. Listen, I'm already putting in my head a strip sack. I just hope it helping in the first quarter, not the fourth. All right, when the game close, I'm already putting in my head a strip sack is gonna happen. Okay, it's gonna happen. It's inevitable at this point. You, listen, it's literally the worst combination ever. Listen, Ryan Tannehill, who holds the ball too long. And it's Khalil Mack, the pass rushing strip sack specialist. It's a place of match made in hell. Because <laughs> that, that's going to be a strip sack this game. I don't know when it happens, but it's going to be one. I'm prepared for it. We can fight through it. All the fans that's going to the game, man, show your love, man. Show your love in the, in the stands. They're going to need it. Man, they're going to need y'all uh, support, man. They're going to need y'all support. They're going to need it to feel like a home game. Shake up Mitch Trubisky is a rookie quarterback. Y'all can do it. Uh, so the fans going to that game, man, get loud. And all in all, guys, I think we should... I, I'm confident we win this game, man. I'm confident just just for the simple fact that I don't think the offense is that good. And I think uh, it's going to be a matchup of the defenses. And I think our offense, I at least hope our offense in Adam Gase can score more than the Chicago Bears. Also, I think uh, Adam Gase, he, he, I think he goes a little harder on teams he used to he used to coach. Now, I'm just saying that based off a of Denver Broncos scenario where we blew out the Denver Broncos when we really wasn't supposed to. And I, I'm just thinking, like, I think Adam Gates might go a little harder on teams that he used to coach. Now, obviously, his situation with, with the Broncos were different because something about uh, he wanted a job with the Broncos, but, like, Elway said he was a bad coach. I, I don't know, something like, something crazy. And, and his, he had some personal vendetta versus the Broncos when we beat the hell out of them. So, hopefully, he had that same energy versus the Chicago Bears, and we just beat the hell out of them. Also, Dow Law Games, wasn't he the offensive coordinator of them last year? I know they have a completely different offense this year. But uh, he might know some shit, some, some intimate shit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you might be useful, Dow Law Games, for one game. You might be useful. Uh, he definitely probably knows, you know, uh, Jordan Howard, what runs he likes to run, stuff, stuff like that. He, he probably knows that. Well, I, I would hope he knows that. He was the offensive coordinator there, but they were shit, so he probably know. I don't know. Uh, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm confident in this game, guys. And we're three and two, guys. We're in good position. I, you know, it, all with all the negativity that's going around over the last two weeks, all the bull because the Dolphins been playing like shit. We're in great position. If you look at our point differential, our offensive rankings, man, where we stand at, the only really good stat you're gonna find on the Dolphins right now is probably the interceptions, the turnovers. We forced the third most turnovers in the league. But if you look at like our offensive rankings, you look at where we're ranked at the bottom of the league, you look at our points per game, all this stuff, man, you would think, man, if I, if you didn't know our record, you would think we were damn one and four, zero oh and five. Like it's that bad what, what our offense is producing right now. But that's the beauty in it is that we're three and two, and with a with a with a great opportunity here on Sunday, at three and two to start the shit right. You know what I'm saying? At, at three and two, you know what I'm saying? This is a this is. A, I can't see the, my, the the offense playing any worse, to be honest. With how bad this offense has played thus far, at three and two, I can't see the offense playing any worse. So we could only go up from here, and we didn't get blown out by the Bengals. We only got blown out by the Patriots. Patriots, we could compete. We are shown the ability to be able to compete. Okay. Now, with, what I wanted, I wanted us to show the ability to be able to dominate. I haven't seen that ability yet, but we are definitely showing the ability to be able to compete with any team. Other than the damn Patriots at Foxborough, I don't think nobody can compete with them. I'm I'm one of y'all right now. I know the Chiefs. Listen, I promise you the Patriots gonna beat the Chiefs. Watch, just cause they're Foxborough, you know. And if it ain't got nothing to do with taking away nothing with the Chiefs, I'm just letting you know, Patriots unbeatable at Foxborough. It's gonna be a lot of people. I'm I might bet on the Patriots, cause just cause it's gonna be a lot of people taking the Kansas City Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs, the hype train and everything. But I'm letting you know right now, bro, you do not bet against the Patriots at Foxborough. You just don't do it. Let's see if I forgot to get into into anything. Uh, Cameron Wake is doubtful again. I don't know. Cameron Wake is not. He's not having a good season uh, as far as like uh, sacks or anything. He hasn't got any. He, he was almost about to, you know, uh, he was about to pass a couple people on the all-time list, but he can't get them one for some reason. Uh, hopefully, he'll improve towards the end of the season. Yeah, I think this is uh, Cameron Wake's contract year too. So if he don't start improving, I know y'all 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 think that NFL got loyalty, and I, I made a video on this a while back about um, the, the players that were on the uh, bubble. And I'll tell y'all right now, if Cameron Wake don't start producing, he's gonna get cut. Or, I mean, his, his contract's not going to get renewed. I'm just warning y'all, okay? So, because because y'all think y'all think these teams got loyalty, I, I promise you they don't. So, I love Cameron Wake as much as y'all do, and this is all, off the subject, but if Cameron Wake don't start performing, this is going to be his last season as a Dolphin. I'm, I'm keeping it real, all right? I don't think that no, no the Dolphins got no loyalty. I, I'm just being honest. <laughs> but that ain't a diss at the Dolphins. No NFL team got loyalty, for real. But anyways, I see this being a low-scoring affair. I can see the Dolphins winning this game 24 to 10, 24 to 13. All we gotta do, I, I know our offense is gonna do that. I mean, our defense is gonna do their job. Our offense has to put up three touchdowns. It should not be that hard, okay, with how boosted up our offense was. It's supposed to be our strongest unit of the team. So it should not be that hard. Our offense scored three touchdowns, we win this game. I, I think that's the simple. I, I think that's simple. Running, passing, it don't matter. Tannehill, you throw one touchdown. Frank Gore, rush for one. It doesn't, I don't know how y'all gonna slice it, dice it. Three touchdowns, offense win the game. Uh, that's gonna wrap up the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Roll to 7K away, your boy K Flexing. Stop the bleeding Miami Dolphins. We gotta get this win. I'm out. I know I want it for the crystal many times. But I knew this moment would come. Now it's my time. I gotta make up for all them nights that my mama cried. I'm going in, I'm putting.